Hi guys, um, sorry about my look, I have cried, my eyes out, but you know, I've just made up my mind, what can I do? So anyway guys, I just want to give you a quick update, so yesterday, no actually, I was supposed to have um, my um, induction, they, they said they wanted to induce me actually. At 38 weeks so which was on the 2nd of um, of March 2023 here yeah. so but <clears throat> for some reason they called and apologized and said okay the Sunday which which is like um, three is it three days after anyway so I had my midwife appointment yesterday Friday so she checked baby and she said baby's head was um up like baby was breached so she said okay but to be sure she will send me for a scan at the hospital she, so she called up the hospital and then she sent me to the hospital yesterday so i got to the maternity triage they did a scan baby's head was down they said baby's head was down and then but they said they cannot discharge me they will have to admit me because of my blood sugar my other uh, gestational diabetes um is so high and um it, it calls for concern because baby is really big so and baby will keep getting big so they will have to induce me that yesterday last night so well i had to call obi to bring my because <clears throat> obi actually dropped me in the hospital he was waiting for me in the car with my children so because i just thought it was for me to just come in do my um do the assessments and everything and then go back home and then wait for you know sunday to uh, Sunday the 5th of March for my induction but they said I can't go home anymore I have to stay and all that so I had to call Obi to go home and bring the hospital bag and everything so yeah so they gave me a bed they checked they assessed again before they um, could put their tampon the induced tampon there's a tampon they normally use to induce so before they could put that they wanted to be sure that baby's head is still head down but when she put um the midwife when she put her finger in my you know vj she was like it doesn't seem like seem like baby's head is down and um they can't induce me if baby's head is not down so she had to call a doctor to double check so the doctor came and checked they brought a scan and run another they did another scan and the scan shows that baby's head is up again <laughs> baby's head was just going up and down baby was still moving around and everything so they said um is is normal for even at 38 weeks for baby's head to keep going because especially if you if you've have had children before your womb is wider there is more space there for baby to still move around turn around man and baby was moving seriously like this baby is a very very active baby he was moving and moving and moving even for them to put the monitor on me it was difficult to get his heartbeat because he was just moving about so they said um they will not be able to induce me anymore last night because the baby is pro uh, posterior, posterior or something they said and it's posterior baby so they can't induce then they said i should wait till this morning today is saturday 
so that I should wait for the um, doctor to come to do the word rounds this morning so this morning the doctors came so the doctor was like okay um, the solution they can do is turn the baby like manually turn the baby's head down since there is space around the baby is still moving around they feel like it's gonna be easier for them to like manually use your hand to turn baby head down there is actually an injection they will give me so that i will not feel any pain so they'll put the baby's head down no no she said she was gonna give me epidural and then turn baby's head down and then break my water immediately so that baby will not be able to you know um to uh, swim and turn head back on yeah so and um yeah so they will take it from there so but before she can do that she will need to check my cervix to see that i am at least like two centimeter dilated for her to break my water so she checked my cervix and all oh, and behold my cervix wasn't even ready for any labor she said it's still like very tight very very tight it's not it's not opening not 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 even any centimeter open so she cannot um induce me she cannot break my water and um yeah so the only solution will be cs guys i broke into tears because i've never been through this before i've never had a cs before all my three children i had them vaginally i have never i've always been scared of cs i've never had cs but as it is right now the only solution is cs because i am not dilating my cervix is not even like ready to um ready for labor so yeah i have signed all the consent form they've done all the checks i'm just waiting for them to um come in they said well, um it's gonna be my turn for cs anytime soon so i am just waiting and uh, i have been praying <sighs> this this is a very big experience for me because i have never experienced it before <laughs> never i've never had a cs i've never given birth with a cs before i am so scared i am so terrified guys i am so terrified i i don't know the thought of it just terrifies me guys i just i just i just want to cry like every second every minute but i just pray everything goes well i pray there is no complication i pray i will be fine after the cs I just pray for a lot of good stuff after the CS because um, I've signed the consent form. All the consents, the husband, all everything, all the risk is so scary, guys. So, but I pray none of it will happen to me and my baby by God's grace. I just thought I should carry you guys along. I wanted to vlog since yesterday, but it was too much of out and about, up and down, and all that all the stress so i just couldn't so i just thought let me make this big video before i go in for my cs and um yeah i'll update you guys after my cs yeah i wish if they can help let me uh, record um the the process yeah but if not i'll update you guys after so see you guys later guys bye